Well, Dr. Sharp, we got two questions, one from a youth pastor named Ethan in West Virginia, and one from a young brother named Dirk who lives in Germany, I think, Sarsberg. And uh, uh, the fella in West Virginia asks, how old is the earth? And Dirk here asks, um, I got a question about carbon dating. I still have not understood how it's done and how it also is a poor excuse for the evolutionists. Do you have any literature you can recommend? And of course, if you go to our website, there, there is literature on the yes. subject. The Rate Project would be good. And also Creation Facts of Life by Gary Parker yes. as a chapter on that. But uh, Dr. Sharp, let's, let's get into carbon-14 and the age of the Earth. Well... The age of the earth is critical to the faith and authority of Scripture because the Bible clearly says that the earth is a little more than 6,000 years, a few days or so. Um, the evolutionary community cannot abide within the biblical framework. The tragedy in today's Christian world, even among some of the theologians, is that they have been evolutionized to the degree that they think that there's something scientifically credible about the geologic age system or about the time frame of the evolutionary philosophy. And so they have attempted to superimpose into the scripture uh, more than what the Bible permits so that uh, they try to reconcile, they try to make concession for the clear statements of the scripture. But the Bible plainly says that the earth is a little over 6,000 years old, no older. And in fact, we're seeing evidence in our solar system and other aspects of the uh, planet relationships and so forth that the earth is growing old like a garment. And I suggest that uh, God made the earth to last 6,000 years or so. And this is an indication of the nearness of his coming and the renewal of this place. And so, uh, with regard to carbon-14, you know, even with the use of accelerator mass spectrometers, they can only detect radioactive carbon in uh, any sample up to about 17 half-lives, which gives you a maximum period of 100,000 years or so. So it just doesn't give old enough ages to support anything evolutionary. Now that's even if it works the way they think okay, it if does. If it works the way they think it does. And so when you when you get the even the evolutionary scientists to be honest with the carbon fourteen process, they really don't put much dependence on a carbon date beyond one half life, which is a little over five thousand years, which brings the whole thing within the biblical framework in the first place. So I suggest that the carbon fourteen has been significantly outreached and overused. And it's mysterious because you have to have a certain amount of physical understanding or physics understanding to be able to deal with it. And so it sounds really good. I heard a preacher on TV the other day say that we now know that the Earth is 4.5 billion years old because it's been proven conclusively by carbon-14. Well, how do you correct a man that makes those kinds of statements, particularly a man that is a leader in the evangelical community? Because he's made a glaring boo-boo, not only in the age of the earth from a biblical perspective, but in the overreaching of what science really can do. So it's easy to answer Ethan's question, how yes. old is the earth? 6,000 years yes. old or so. And it's easy to answer Dirk's question, how is, how is uh, carbon-14 really a poor excuse for evolution? No evolutionist uses carbon-14 because it doesn't go long enough. It, it, doesn't, do other ones. it, doesn't, do them, it doesn't do them any good. I think it's interesting that when a geologist or paleontologist or an anthropologist Paleontology and anthropology really like to use these because they're after ages. And I, I think uh, Donald Johansson, the guy who discovered Lucy, mm -hmm. uh, he had Lucy's uh, bones tested uh, many times. I've, I've read t as much as 22 times before he actually published a date. He was getting dates that were too young. And he eventually got one old enough he thought would make Lucy a significant missing link. So uh, this radiometric dating thing is a real snafu because it doesn't do for the evolutionists what they want it to do. And, and all of those dates depend on the assumption of the decay rate being the same forever. Yes. And if that's not true, none of it works. Uh, even the isochron dating method depends on the dating, the uh, uh, the rate being the same, 
and, uh, and the strontium in the universe argument that Kenneth Miller gives. All of these things depend on the, the dating, uh, the uh, decay rate being the same. But uh, it also depends on uh, how much of the original isotope was there in the beginning, how much of the daughter isotope was present at the beginning also, and that the whole thing has never been messed with by any geologic events uh, or influences for all of the billions of years it's yes. supposed to have been sitting there. And all of those are not real good bets. No, and they're not. Together, it's, it's a real shady deal. Yes, they're all unapprovable assumptions upon which the whole crux of the value rests, and you have to accept those by faith um, to accept the date. And see, that's what everyone says we're doing. We're just accepting blindly the Bible because we love the Bible. Now, we do, but, the, but we don't have to just say, because the Bible tells me so. It's because science doesn't tell us the Earth's any older than 6,000 years, right. and history actually tells us it isn't. Try to find a dated document that has got a date on it that's older than Noah's flood, 4,359 years ago. You can't. They don't exist. They'll tell you, oh, this parchment is that old, or this pottery is that old, but but it's not. They they really have nothing verifiable dated that's older than the current civilization that's on Earth. Well, the reality is science doesn't have any process that can deal with the unobserved past. Well, history. Yeah. They just have history. And so that makes uh, your interpretation of history the real crux of the matter in the first place. So you either believe that the Bible is the Word of God and, and trust it word for word, or you add to it based upon your secular understanding, at which case you are really out in no man's land. And you have to add to science yes. to make the earth older than 6,000 years too. Right. It's not just adding to the Bible. That's right. Okay, well, hope this helps uh, uh, Ethan and Dirk.